This is a vital step of your sales process, but so many people don't know how to effectively pre-frame or they just completely disregard this step in the process, not understanding its importance. And believe you me, they do that to the detriment of their sales numbers. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Now, pre-framing is something that's gonna happen after you've established some quick rapport on your sales call before going into the intel gathering stage. This is a vital, a vital bridge in the sales process. And if you miss out on this, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So let's take a look at uh, why people don't do this in the first place. Now there's four reasons that I've identified with my different sales reps and thousands of clients over the past couple years. Number one reason why people don't effectively pre-frame their sales calls. Well, they just don't know how to do it. And so today we're gonna run through three different ways that you can effectively pre-frame your sales calls, leading to a lot more sales. Now reason number two, why people don't do it. They don't know why. They don't know why it's important to do it in the first place. And I can completely appreciate not doing something because you don't understand the importance, but by the end of this video, it should be crystal clear. So don't make this mistake in the future if this is why you haven't been pre-framing your calls effectively up to this point. Now, reason number three, sometimes you just get a bit lazy and I don't mean to offend, but I've been there myself. Maybe you have a prospect, for example, that comes in via referral or they just seem so red hot and ready to buy that you just want to jump right ahead in the process. Understand that skipping steps, even with prospects that seem ready to go. This will be done, again, to the detriment of your sales numbers. Nothing is more frustrated than having a red-hot, ready-to-buy prospect slip through the cracks because you missed vital steps in the process. That or they're just in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Slow down. Handle this conversation with tact. Now, reason number four why people will not effectively pre-frame their sales calls. They've, they've got this fear or worry, for example, that the prospect won't fall into the frame, or in other words, the prospect will reject the frame that you're trying to set on the call. And this could lead to confrontation. So people will avoid pre-framing the calls out of fear that they're going to have their prospects reject the frame and that that could cost them the sale. Now, what's really important to understand is why this is so important. You see, you need to be pre-framing your sales calls for a few reasons. So let's dive into those. Now, if, if I were to just go into a call, right, and just launch right on into questions about, well, how much money do you want to make? How much are you currently bringing in? Why are you not okay with staying where you're at? What's kept you from being able to solve this on your own? If I just launch right into questions like this, it feels investigative to your prospects. So imagine you're in an interrogation room, right? And someone is just drilling you with questions. Naturally, do you, do you want to open up and share what's really going on? Of course not. You're going to be guarded and you're going to keep some of that information close to the chest because it feels like you're under investigation. However, an effective pre-frame to your sales call actually sets your prospects up really effectively to be transparent, to be open with you because an effective pre-frame allows your calls to become collaborative, collaborative instead of investigative. Now, just imagine do you think you're going to get more honest, authentic, nitty gritty answers from your prospects if they feel like they're under investigation or if they feel like they're in collaboration with you to get what they ultimately want? It seems pretty simple when I put it that way, right? Now, number two, number two reasons why it is vital for you to be effectively pre-framing your sales calls before jumping right on into the intel gathering stage is that this establishes your leadership. And it is vital that you have a leadership frame on your sales calls, especially when you're selling coaching. Because ultimately, this prospect is going to hire you to lead them to the outcome that they want. So if you can't establish yourself as a leader on the front end of this conversation, then you're starting way behind in the race, essentially. 
needing to then make up a whole bunch of ground through the process, which can be really challenging if you set yourself up in that way from the start. So remember, especially when you're selling coaching, you are going to be a leader in their life. So start off that relationship on the right foot. And remember this, people want to be led by people that they feel care about them. Like, you feel that I care about you, and this is why you would be willing to trust my leadership to the point of even watching these videos and implementing what I have to say. It's not just because I have millions of dollars under my belt as a sales rep myself and tens of millions with companies that I've worked with, but it's because you know that I care, and it's how I pre-frame interactions. So... Now we're going to look at three specific ways that you can effectively pre-frame your sales calls to set you up for success. But before we do, we have to thank our video's sponsor today, the like button. So if you haven't already, go right down below me, smack that thumbs up, just turn it blue. It helps us out a ton in the YouTube algorithm. And frankly, it's the only tuition that I ask of you in exchange for watching these free sales trainings that I guarantee, as long as you implement, they will make you a ton of money. So again, just thank our video sponsor, the like button by smacking it until it turns blue. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now let's look at three different ways that you can effectively pre-frame your sales call. So what I want you to do is listen first and then you will repeat with me. You'll read it with me because I don't want this to just be more information that you take in, but I want you to actually practice applying it so that you can get this down and use it effectively. So pre-frame number one, you could start off by saying something along the lines of, All right, so let me give you an idea of how these calls work. I'm going to ask you some questions to better understand your situation and ultimately where you're looking to take this business. And if after getting a clear picture, I feel like we could help you make that happen, then we'll have a conversation about what it would look like to work together to make this possible. Cool if we just dive right on in. So again, the purpose of this is collaboration. I'm letting them know how these calls work so that they can get the most out of it. This is key. It's like, hey, I just need you to be honest with me and tell me everything that you think I need to know so I can give you proper guidance. So that is one way that you can pre-frame a call. Here's another one, a little bit more simple. Okay, John, well, I'm prepared to talk with you today about ways that you could grow your online business, which I I understand is why you reached out in the first place. But first, I, I hope you don't mind if I ask you just a few questions to better understand your situation. So I'm asking permission to ask him questions. When they say it, they own it. So when you get permission to ask them questions, again, this is framing in a collaborative way. And if you do that, I'm going to be set up for success. Numero tres, this one. All right, well, let's do this. Um, Before I'm able to dive in and uh, into like how we might be able to help you, it'd probably be appropriate if I asked you just a few quick questions to better understand your situation so we could see if we could even help you in the first place. For example, question one. So any of these three or any variation of these three when done right are going to set you up for success in your sales calls. So I'm going to pop this up on the screen here and you're just going to read it alongside with me and practice. I guarantee a little bit of practice. This is going to get super simple. You'll get to the point where it just rolls right off your tongue and makes a big difference in your sales calls. So we'll start from the top with the first example again, right up on the screen here. So let me give you an idea of how these calls work. I'm going to ask you some questions to better understand your situation and where you're looking to take this business. And if, after getting a clear picture, I feel like we could help you make it happen, then we'll have a conversation about what that would look like if we chose to work together. Cool if we just dive right on in. Number two. Again, repeat with me. Read it with me. It's going to make a big difference. Don't sleep on this. It's totally cool if you're just sitting there all by yourself talking out to the expanse. That's exactly what I look like when I go through sales trainings myself to improve. I'm always repeating along with them because I don't just want to get it cerebrally. I want to anchor it into my body. So number two. Okay, John. Well, I'm prepared to talk with you today about ways that you could grow your online business, which 
I understand is why you reached out. But first, I, I hope you don't mind if I ask you just a few quick questions to better understand your situation. Third, well, let's do this. Before I'm able to dive in about how we might be able to help, it, it might be appropriate if I asked you just a few quick questions to better understand your situation and see if we could even help you in the first place. All right. Now, don't just read all three of these in order, of course. Pick one, practice it, adjust the wording a little bit so that it fits your own vernacular, and get comfortable with this. I guarantee that as you do, you're going to have a much easier time getting your prospects to open up and be forthright with the information that you must uncover in order to make the sale. And speaking of information that you must uncover in order to make the sale, if you haven't all ready. Make sure that you go right down below me into the description box and you download the seven vital questions that you must be asking in order to create objection-free closed sales. If you're missing any of these questions on sales calls, I guarantee that you are coming up against objections that are making your sales if you're closing them a lot more challenging and if you're not closing them well it's crystal clear why so pick up that guide it's responsible for tens of millions in sales for not only me but also my clients and the other businesses that i work with it's totally free just go right down below me and download that guide all right my friend if you haven't already on the way out smack that thumbs up button one more time i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one